Right. Uh, here's the last section of algebraic vectors practice questions seven through ten. Uh, hopefully you've already watched the videos and uh, if you needed help on one through six, uh, that's the previous video posted. Uh, here's just these are some easy ones to finish off with seven through ten. Ask us to write the ordered pair that represents the magnitude of y z. So going from y to z, uh, if I look at the x values, uh, I know that the x values are going down three units and the y values if I look at the y values are going up three units so uh, very easily I know that yz is going to equal negative three three we use these symbols the magnitude is just going to be uh, the hypotenuse of that right triangle if we were to draw it so if we draw an x value of negative three we can go left with a negative direction. A y value of positive 3, uh, we're just going to get a resultant vector of uh, the hypotenuse right there. Uh, y, z is what we're calling this one squared. So 9, 9, it looks like we get 18. Obviously, to get rid of this square, we take the square root of both sides on there. So, uh, square to 18, I can factor out a 9. I get 3 root 2 as the magnitude. So, with a magnitude of 3 whoops, root 2. Okay, uh, I think um, no, we have another problem very similar to this one, just asking for... Uh, ordered pair that represents it and uh, magnitude. All right, uh, find the ordered pair and the magnitude for question number eight. So same thing, we can break it down into the x component and the y component. Looks like the x values go up five. And the y values from positive 12 to 19 go up seven. So uh, we should be able to get our um, ordered pair. From there, we can do the same thing that we did by drawing the uh, right triangle, x positive 5, so to the right, positive 5. y is a positive 7, so up 7. Do a Pythagorean theorem. Twenty-five, forty-nine. So seventy-four. And that does not simplify. So when you take the square root of y z, you get uh, y z equals square root of seventy-four. Uh, oh, that one was already down there. So. The ordered pair is 5, 7. The uh, magnitude of that vector would be 74. For number 9, uh, we do need to apply uh, multiplying the scalar or vector here. Uh, oh, no, not this one. I guess that's the next one. Um, oh, we just need to add them. So find a ordered pair that represents A. If A equals vector B plus vector C, we can just add these two vectors together. So 4 plus uh, excuse me, 6 plus negative 4 should be a 2. And for the y values, 3 plus 8, since we are adding them, should equal 11. And, uh, well, that was easy. Ordered pair? Well, that was real easy, actually. We got our ordered pair. We don't even have to find any magnitude or anything. Okay. Uh, number 10. Find an ordered pair that represents A in this one. Okay, so uh, we need to represent A equals 2 vector B plus vector C. And right here, uh, I'm going to plug in, this is vector B. So um, I guess I'll just plug it in like this. 
Oh, that was vector B. And vector C uh, is going to be this one. So I'll just plug it in here. And all the rest is stuff from before. So A 2 times B plus C. So we do have everything stayed the same except for we plugged in for B and we plugged in for C right there. Uh, here we just need to distribute the two. When you multiply a vector, it applies to the x and y components. So 2 times 6 is 12 and 6. And now that we just have um, ordered pairs, we can add, add the x's, add the y's. Looks like for the x's, 12 plus negative 4 gives me uh, 8. And for the y's, 6 plus 8 gives me 14. And so that should be our resultant ordered pair when we take 2b plus c. All right. Hopefully that helped. Um, if you have some more questions, please message me on Remind, and I can do a Zoom tutorial with you if you need some more explanation on one of these. Hope that helped. Take care.